before we move on to adding the functionality to actually be able to search on our search page, I want to talk a little bit about responsive design. So if we take a look at our search page currently, we see that in the portrait view that we're currently in when our phone is vertical, we're able to see our image just fine as well as our text. However, if we turn our phone by going to hardware and rotate left or right, note that on a Mac you can do this with command left arrow or command right arrow. When we flip the phone, we see that our picture is not entirely visible and we have to scroll down to see our text. So how do we resize the image when we turn the phone? Well, a very easy way to do this is to, within build no content, where we're displaying our image, to use a built-in widget called media query and to get the current device orientation, we can use media query dot of and pass in the current build context. When we do that, we get access to a lot of different values. For example, we can get the current size of the screen by saying dot size dot height to get its height or size dot width. But what we want is media query dot of context dot orientation. So this is going to tell us whether our device is in portrait mode or in landscape mode. And we can store this value in a variable called orientation that is of type orientation. So it's rather easy to change the dimensions of our widgets in response to the orientation. Here we want to change the size of the image. We want to make it a bit smaller so we can actually see our text underneath. So what we can do is we can add a ternary here for the SVG asset height and say if orientation, what's stored in our variable is equal to orientation dot portrait if we're in portrait mode only then do we want to make it the larger height of 300 but if we're in landscape mode we want to make it 200 so when we save this and we flip back now our image is only 200 in height and we can see the text underneath so when it comes to implementing responsive app design orientation is a really great value to make use of from media query. And in most any case, with some rare exceptions, this is all you're going to need in order to resize things appropriately for different devices.